From football to basketball, March Madness taking over downtown Buffalo tonight. News Force Marley Tuscus is speaking with a lot of fans. She joins us right now live outside the Key Bank Center. Marley? Don City officials expect nearly 20,000 basketball fans for the first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament. And they tell us that this will bring a lot of money into the area, especially with the amount of people that we are still seeing at this hour. From near. Tell me where you guys are from. We're from Buffalo. Buffalo. Across the border. We're from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. And far. I'm from Brookings, South Dakota. Basketball fans took over Key Bank Center for the first round of the NCAA tournament. We had a lovely family from South Dakota. They flew in yesterday and they've been touring Buffalo and now they're here for the because their team's playing. And we had a bunch of people from Iowa and um, you know, it's like people from all over. Lots of St. Bonaventure people too. Yes. But they in Syracuse. Yeah. Lots of Syracuse yeah. fans. I'm a pretty diehard Arkansas basketball fan with Coach Muss and the team, so I did my homework ahead of time. I booked trip uh, flights and hotels for every single city, uh, and Buffalo was one of them. And I just waited to see where we got announced to and canceled everything else, and I'm here. Many say they were excited to take in what Buffalo has to offer, even if that meant different weather than they were prepared for. I thought there'd be a little bit of snow. It's been beautiful here, and so we're used to the cold weather. We've got, we've got winter um, there, too, but today's a fantastic day. It's absolutely beautiful. And Western New Yorkers say they were just happy to showcase their hometown. I think it's great. Are you kidding me? In my backyard? This is, in this weather? You can't beat that. Well, we just saw an upset. We'll see what tonight's games bring. Second round of the NCAA tournament is set for this Saturday here at Key Bank Center. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Marley Tuskis, News 4.